Hi, I'm Wild Bill, and I want to talk about the world, and I want to talk about what that means in a very narrow context. In my view, personal opinion here, a national government ha is, has a mandate from its people to provide certain things, real and quantifiable things, in return for the money they get from taxation, the work they get from volunteering, and the adherence they get to that rule of law that they bring with them. The things that the people need from their government, in my view, are security against internal and external threats. I'm not defining them at this moment, I'm merely laying this out. The provision of a strategic network of highways, railways, airports, and ports that allow for the rapid movement of goods, services, and disaster relief, as well as strategic military resources, across the length and breadth of that nation in a short period of time so that no one has to starve, so that no one freezes, so that no one is caught in a zone where disease hits suddenly and terribly and there's no help, the doctors are down too. That all has to be part of what a government provides for its people, in my view. Beyond that, beyond the strategic necessi necessity, beyond the um, internal security necessity, there is the infrastructure, there is the strategic network of highways, roads, airports, and ports. There is also a national educational system that inculcates everyone with the same values and inculcates everyone with the same general knowledge. Specialist knowledge will come later. We all have time. And then the government must provide easy access to the utilities that make life possible in zones, especially those zones that are not as hospitable to life as some of our more preferred areas. And so everyone needs clean water. Everyone needs provision of gas or electric in order to heat their homes, in order to drive their machines, in order to drive their air conditioners. Finally, there has to be a helpline. There has to be a system in which a citizen can air his or her grievances against the system, against his or her neighbors, against other problems. If a national government can provide these things, external security, internal security, so there's a feeling of comfort, so that the people feel that they're glad to be living in that country, right? If everyone can turn on the tap and get drink, drinkable water, if everyone can turn on the burner and get heat for cooking, if any, everyone can huddle into their covers at night and the furnace is pouring out a little warm air, just enough to keep you going. that if there is a disaster where your parents have retired, say Florida, it's happened before. I'm not making fun of Florida. It's an area that sticks out into the ocean. It is asking for trouble. No place in Florida is more than, what is it, 80 feet above sea level? Asking for trouble. Would I like to go there? Heck yeah, Florida's beautiful in its way. But just saying. Say there's a disaster in Florida. And people are saying, gee, I really wish we could get services there, but we don't have a good system of highways for getting the services there. We're sorry. We can fly some stuff in, but flying's expensive. It takes time. It ties up the airports, and they got to do other stuff. That's what I'm talking about, the ability to move supplies and disaster relief quickly to any part of the country where it might be needed, the ability to move troops and defensive ordnance anywhere in the country where it might be needed against external threats. This whole idea that I presented, education, uh, 
mobility infrastructure, utility infrastructure, and uh, security. There's nothing exceptional or unusual in there. But these are the things that, in my view, a government must provide its people. It has a mandate to protect and enable them. And when you say, ask not what your government can do for you, you are passing the buck, dudes, because the government is there for exactly that, to do the things that we cannot do for ourselves. Every member of every nation is equal, has equal rights under the law. These are all things that seem to me evident. I wonder why other people don't agree. So I ask you, consider what you believe that a government's mandate from the people encompasses. What should a government assure and provide its people to be a legitimate government? To possess, as the Chinese used to say, the mandate of heaven. Oh, by the way, I had a wonderful session today uh, on uh, Facebook because I posted nothing but covers. I can't do that to YouTube. I'm too, way too sensitive about uh, copyright strikes because I have so much original material here. I don't want to lose my channel. So if you're interested in the stuff I do that's by other artists, the, I cover it, I talk about it, I deal with it, come to my Facebook. If you're interested in, um, in just hearing the songs I write and my original ideas, YouTube is the place. And for you few fans of mine, thanks, man. You legitimize me. You give me, you give me a real body. You enfranchise me in low flesh. I'm not a ghost while you think of me, while you believe in me.